property in Texas wants Republicans to turn their backs on Trump, and they are not the only ones. Today, veterans rallied on Capitol Hill to urge GOP leaders to take back their endorsements of the nominee. Our Rachel Glazer has the story. Can I be an American and a Muslim at the same time? And the answer is yes, absolutely. Shaquille Sharadari is a Muslim American, a Texan, and now a former Republican. In my good conscience, I can never vote for a Trump. Donald Trump came under fire for a battle with the family of a Muslim American soldier killed in combat. It is something that no American should accept, whether Republican or Democrat. It should be something that we all condemn in a united fashion. Texas Governor Greg Abbott, a staunch Republican, defended the fallen soldier's family. This lake of empathy, lake of common sense. Despite the very public feud with a Gold Star family and the uproar that followed, Trump doubled down on his proposal to ban all Muslim immigrants from entering the U.S. The perceived disrespect for the military is is a much more fundamental problem. A June poll found more than half of Texas voters support the ban on Muslim immigration. But an overwhelming majority of those polled ranked the military as the most highly regarded institution in the country. And he came across as insensitive to military sacrifice, to military families. Shawtery flies to D.C. next week to visit Captain Khan's grave. The thought of having a president as Donald Trump, it gives me shivers. At campaign rallies, Trump supporters remain enthusiastic and loyal. That was Rachel Glazer reporting. Uh, according to a Fox News poll, nearly 70 percent of people polled say Trump was out of line for lashing out at a Gold Star family. Well, Jim's here and we're